this is it. <laughs> What's going on guys, Dex here and welcome back to the channel. And today for, oh my God, Attack on Titan season three, episode 51 just came out and I just saw it. And this is gonna be just a quick discussion about what happened. I mean, not specifically what happened, but what it was about. So let's get to it. So uh, the main characters right now are more specifically targeted on Erwin and Admin. And it, between those two, it's Admin. Um, from the looks of it, I would recommend you watching the last three episodes of season three. Basically starting from 48, 49, Wow. Basically starting from 47, 48, and 49, and then going to this new uh, new episode, just so that you can get a clear head about what's going on and basically just tell you what's what's happening right now. Because it's been a while. It's uh, not... Attack on Titan hasn't really been in anyone's mind for a while. I believe that they kind of stretched it to overhype this this uh, this series. That's why some people are kind, are kind of like letting go of it while others are still like, like me, are still collecting the manga and was, oh my god, and we're waiting on the anime. So, episode, what happened? We are near the wall, Maria Wall, and as of this moment, we already know that some species of Titans don't really function at night, especially when there is no moonlight. That's when most Titans don't uh, get up and attack. Most Titans just sleep with their eyes open, surprisingly. <laughs> We do get a sense of Eden, but it's more of a like, I need to do this, or do I have to do this, or can I do this? It's more of that kind of Eden, Eden instead of the season one Eden where he's like, yeah. but as always, that's his, that's like his little drama and stuff. But this, like I told you, it was more focused on uh, Edmund because from the looks of it, uh, no spoilers or anything because I'm caught up with the manga, but... <laughs> There is gonna they're hinting they're hinting that something is gonna happen and especially Erwin who is kind of uh tr training him in a way like t make letting him think and actually taking control of his own little group his own unit to uh he basically just manage and that's what we see here uh Edmund do not doing so great but also in a way doing his best trying to uh help us locate um the armored and the colossal titan. And where they're located and that's basically where the episode is kind of uh centered at where we're searching for those two characters while also seeing uh edmund's like character char character uh traits like actually growing and for the fact that i really really enjoyed his uh character uh, i know in the beginning he was kind of bad but in uh throughout the seasons and throughout the episodes we actually get to see how he grows and how he uh kind of like steps up his game to become uh damn it is this is this a spoiler no it's not just just to become uh like kind of like a captain or general and to see where uh, everything would be taking place uh besides that before the post credits i thought that uh the next episode was kind of was going to be like a backstory of the colossal and also the armored uh titan to see where and how they got their powers but instead I think we're gonna go all in an all-out uh, battle, and that uh, episode fifty-one is actually gonna be really, really hectic. Where I mean, like, we can see a ton of ton of people dying and a ton of blood, a ton, a ton of titans. But, whoo, wow, there's so much stuff that I want to talk to you guys about. But I really don't. I can't. I don't. I hate spoiling. I I hate to be that kind of person. But uh, as far as this episode, uh, in conclusion, a uh, quick summary. Mostly about Edmund and uh, Erwin and searching for the two Titans. And this episode, I would say it was 8 out of 10. It's not overly hyped, but it is giving us that sense of, get ready for this, get ready for this. <laughs> and um, speaking of the intro and outro, I really do dig it. Uh, the intro really reminds me of the first intro where we're giving that sense of, it's time to fight back. But in this one, it's more like, dude... We're fighting, but we're also fighting for a purpose. We're fighting for hope. And that's where uh, the intro takes place. The outro is, um, like I'm telling you right now, but I'm not spoiling it. Something is going to happen. And with that outro, it kind of, it makes me feel, it makes me feel that emotion that I'm, 
<laughs> gonna feel real soon. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. Overall, eight out of 10 this episode was awesome. Please let me know how I did because I think this is kind of my first one. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.